going to film a chit chat get ready with me type of video um i'm not doing anything special with my makeup so i probably won't even be like just talking about um the stuff that i'm using because i feel like this is just the look that i've just been wearing the entire summer just because it's easy for me i haven't really been wearing a lot of eyeshadow i'll probably get back into the whole eyeshadow thing soon but more than likely right now just so you guys aren't like oh my god where is this at or where is that at why my face look kind of weird on camera I'm not sure it looks patchy on camera but yeah just so you guys aren't like what's going on where are the makeup videos i'll probably probably bring you more um natural hair videos yay then i will um makeup videos just because i haven't really been wearing makeup i haven't really been wearing like different eyeshadows and different things like that i've just been kind of just doing this look that i have now and i've done a thousand tutorials on it but i did want to come and talk to you guys and just kind of update you with everything that's been going on and why i haven't been consistently uploading what's the tea and all that other jazz so yeah i'm just gonna start off with my eyebrows now i do have soap on my brows if you're wondering like why are they looking like that i do have soap if you are if you are a person that does soap brows i always um just use regular soap um make sure it's not too white the one that i use is i believe it's not dove it might be dow but it's um it's it's best to use a clear soap um I just don't have any at the moment so that's why I've been using this it works out in the end so yeah I'm just gonna go in with my ColourPop eyebrow pencil you guys ask me all the time what eyebrow pencil do I use and the eyebrow pencil is by ColourPop it's my favorite it's only like five bucks and I legit buy like five of them at a time The only thing that I don't like about the brow pencil is that it's retractable, but you can't, it's not retractable, like you can't, you can take, pull it up, but you can't bring it back down. And that's kind of irritating, especially if you feel like you've done too much. You just have to kind of be careful with it. I need my brows done, but if you follow me on Snapchat, like a few, I want to say a few months ago. Because it takes a while for my eyebrows to go back by the time I go to get them done that it look like I have brows. But the lady gave, she she messed me up. Like she, she did me in. And I had like the skinniest, let me try to show you how skinny my brow was. Like I kid you not like how this piece of paper is. That's how skinny my brow was. Maybe I'm being a little bit, just a tiny bit dramatic, but it was so skinny that I was just like, you know what? Uh-uh. Couldn't do it. So, I have to wait even longer than what I normally would to make sure that they grow back to the maximum potential that they can. So, that's why I haven't gotten my brows done. So, yeah, what's been going on? Okay, um, let's see. I haven't really been filming a lot. And the main reason why I haven't been filming is just that I have not been inspired at all when it comes to like filming like I just haven't felt like doing it and I don't want to have ASS you guys when it comes to that because it's not fair to you so the videos that I have posted is because I genuinely like right now felt like I wanted to post I'm gonna go in with the MAC Studio concealer in NW40 and clean up underneath my brows I'm only going to take a little bit of it, but um, I just haven't been feeling like it. And that's not fair to you guys or anyone else. Because I feel like viewers know when a person isn't into it. 
and I don't want to ever come off as like it's a burden or anything like that like no it's a hobby for me so it's supposed to be fun and if I'm not having fun then my post at all so yeah that's why I haven't really been posting a lot and then okay let's rewind so a lot of you guys I don't know if you do know if you're following on snapchat then you might know that I moved I didn't move out of the state or anything I really didn't really move far from where I was at before because I still wanted to stay in the same area that I was in but I moved I had but the thing is like I had been in that apartment for a majority of my life like I want to say like 14 years over there so it was a lot so I moved and during the process of me moving like I was super excited like oh my god I'm not gonna be living there anymore all of the jazz but during that process of me moving I went through a breakup now I know a lot of people are like oh I don't know your relationship I do like to keep my relationship portion of my just like my personal life separate from my YouTube life. I've just always been that way. Um, I do know like a lot of people love to see relationships on social media. I just don't want to get caught up in the hype of posting stuff just because you either have to prove it or... It's because what everyone else is doing. And to be quite honest, it wasn't posting worthy. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. The relationship was not posting worthy at all. Like, I didn't realize until after I was out of the relationship just how much of a burden it was on me. And no, I did not. I was broken up with. And honestly, like, just when I think back about it, like, I knew that it was just God because I knew I would never have been strong enough to just leave on my own. Just being honest. Like no matter what happened and it was a lot, a whole lot that has happened that has made me be like or made people be like you should have been left when X, Y, and Z happened or this, that, and the other. And it's not even to say to bash anyone because I'm pretty sure like like people always say it's three sides to every story so I'm pretty sure it was things that I've done so it's not even so much of that but so after that happened I was just kind of like for a long time like I was moving well I wouldn't say a long time because I didn't stay sad my whole thing is I knew I was sad at that moment but I had been I had gotten my heart broken before like once before this is the second time it ever had ever happened to me and I'm like okay I know that I'll get through it it was just a matter of the time that it took to get through it like it was just draining and so during that time it was like I was moving my birthday was coming up my birthday's in April and so I was just like you know what like this is a lot like I didn't even want to celebrate my birthday at first like I didn't want to do anything and once my birthday started to come around like my best friend and my cousin was just like no you have to do something and once my birthday came around it was just like I had the best birthday that I've ever had in like, I can't remember the last time I had this much fun on a birthday. Like, I didn't have to worry about my evening being ruined. I didn't have to worry about fights or drunkness. None of that. Like, it was just a one billion percent good time from beginning to end. Like, that birthday was, this birthday this year was amazing. And... After that, I started to just like, my goal for this year was just to say, you know what, I wanted to be selfish. Like, I wanted to, not even so much as I wanted to, I needed to be. Just like after everything that had happened last year and everything that I felt and all that other stuff, like I knew that I needed to think more so about myself and stop worrying about others and if someone's going to be mad at me for this or if this is going to make this person upset. No. 
Like, and I encourage a lot of people, like, there's a good, healthy way to be selfish. Like, I'm not saying that selfish way where you only think about yourself all the time and not that type of selfish, but, like, learning to just put yourself first in situations and being okay with that. And I used to have a very hard time about it. It's time... I used to have a very hard time doing it. Like, I felt like if people were mad at me, then I was doing something wrong. It was my fault. I could not stand for people to be mad at me. I hate that. And it's still something that I'm working on now. Not everyone is going to be happy with you. Not everyone is going to be happy for you. Not everyone is going to like all of the decisions that you make pertaining your life. But that's okay. It is honestly okay. You have to learn that it is okay. I have to learn. I'm still learning, even though I've gotten much better at it. So this entire, I guess, everything kind of fell into place because it happened. Like I broke up with around my birthday. My birthday came. I kind of felt like a brand new person. Like I felt free. Like I felt, I had energy. Like I used to get headaches all the time. Headaches so bad to the point where I literally thought something was wrong. Like my mother used to tell me all the time, like you need to go to the doctor and see why you're always getting these headaches. Like, like headaches to the point where I would, I could not leave my house if I didn't have pills, like some Tylenol or something with me. I used to get them all the time and I didn't realize it until now that I barely even have to take Tylenol at all. Like I barely get headaches, nothing, unless it's like that time of the month, TMI, but I really don't get headaches like that. I don't feel stressed. I don't feel down and sad and all this other stuff. And you don't realize these things until you're pushed out of them. And so, like, after my birthday, um, I don't know, I just started to just, like, I'm not a person that drinks at all i drink once or twice out of the year the entire year i just don't like it. it's not me trying to think say oh alcohol is bad for you you should no i don't care what you do especially if you are of age um it's just horrible it's just nasty to me so i just don't like the taste of it and so uh since my birthday i had drank more than what i had started to drink more than what i normally would now what normally than what i would was me, I think I had this entire year until this point now, I probably drank four times. And that was more than what I had ever did in my entire adulthood. So I started to just say, you know what, why? Like, And it was an instance that me being drunk kind of hurt someone that I cared about feelings. And it wasn't like something super, like somebody ended in a hospital type of series, but I'm, if I can prevent me hurting someone's feelings because I don't like my feelings to be hurt, then I can't. And that kind of made me stop and think like, okay, wow, why do you feel like... I had got to the point where I felt like that was one thing that me and my ex got into a little about a lot. Like, oh, you don't drink, you don't like to go to the club, you don't like to do this. And I started thinking like, okay, maybe I should do this more because more people, because people my age are doing this. People in their 20s are going to clubs and doing this and doing that. And I started to feel like, okay... I had to do that too. Like I needed to, I needed to become like my peers. I needed to do what my peers were doing. And that's never been me. Like I've always prided myself on saying like, okay, I don't drink. I've never smoked a day in my life. I've never tried it. Nothing. I don't even know how to light the, the lighter things. I don't even know how to do that. So I started thinking like, okay, I need to do this or I need to do that. And I was just like, okay. I had to take a step because within this entire process, I was also getting closer to God. Like I was reading my Bible daily, but at the same time, I was still doing things that was just like, one, not me. Two, I don't think that he would be pleased with. And it wasn't like I was just doing like crazy, outrageous things, but it just wasn't me. That That's the point that I'm saying. And so I was just like, okay, I need to fix that. Like I need to, it's okay to have fun, but you don't have to do what everyone else is doing in order to have fun. And the main question that, it was two things that was just kind of like resonating with me and just like sticking with me this entire time. And the first thing was, 
when is the last time you did something for the first time? So it was just like, while you're sitting here just trying to fit in and have a lit Snapchat, do something that you've never done before. Like, go somewhere you've never gone before or different, just different things that I burned myself. And I didn't even realize, like, I knew I burned myself. I felt the burn, but I didn't think that it was going to leave a mark. I thought it was just like, uh, ooh, you touched yourself with the curling iron, but it really left a mark. And for some reason, I'm not too bothered by it, but it left a mark, though. But yeah, and so I was just finding myself doing things that I was just like, okay, you know what? It was weird because I was getting closer to God, but at the same time, I was doing things that I just knew was not me. And it wasn't even so much as it wasn't pleasing to him. It was just like, that's just not you. It's not you at all. Like, I then started worrying about, like, okay, what about YouTube? No one's, unless I post a natural hair video, no one really watches the videos. Should you keep doing it if no one watches, if no one cares? And then it's like I had to remember, like, you used to post videos all the time when no one watched it. Like, when you would probably get one or two views. So, if that's why you're in it now, then you don't need to be in it. So, I took a step back from that. Like, I didn't want to become that person that was just so view-driven that I stopped realizing why I started making videos in the first place. And so that was that with that. And then what else? I just kind of like just made the decision just like telling my friends don't ask me to go out. If we go out, cool, but don't, don't say, oh, Andrew, you should drink. Because everyone else is just like, oh, you're so uptight unless you have a drink. And I'm just like, if I'm uptight, oh, well. Don't invite me out then. If you don't like regular me, fine. And I will say I get, of course, just a little looser. Not loose, but, you know, I do let a little bit of the edge off when I have um, had a drink. But it's just like, I don't know. Like, I don't care. Um, so right now, at this point, it's just like I've been focusing more so on just not even i haven't been focused on a relationship at all like i have been dating just because why not like who said that you cannot not date like when i tell people that it's just like oh you're not in a relationship but you're dating yeah you do realize there's nothing wrong with that right and so i've had a few people that had a problem with that like the whole oh so it's not like you're not exclusively for me and it's just like I feel like though like people who are always in a relationship like back to back to back uh this relationship like the my past relationship I was in it for so long it's just like I can't even imagine how I can even allow myself to get right back into another relationship a month or two four months later like that's just mind-boggling to me like it's a problem I really feel like it's a problem with people who are always in a relationship like if you've never been single you don't know yourself you honestly don't and I feel like this time like I have been taking these past four months and it's crazy because I've been getting so many people like oh my god you're glowing like you seem so happy like is it a new man or is it this and I'm like no I'm not pregnant I'm not I don't have a new man nothing like I'm just happy and it like bothers me that people associate you being happy with either you're pregnant or you being having a glow I should say with you being pregnant or it's a new man it's like no none of the above I'm just enjoying myself like I am I don't think people really understand just how stressful the relationship was for me like I am free like I am free in every sense of the meaning of that word like if I could get it, if I had enough gumption, I would get a tattoo right here on my arm. Like, as a reminder, it was just, it's just like, it's so many things. Like, people are asking, like, oh, do you miss this person? And it's just like, every good memory I have is a bad memory to follow right up behind it. And it's just like, I can't. Like, I cannot allow myself. And I, like, honestly, I never wish anyone bad, like, and people get mad at me for that. It's just like, I can't 
wish someone bad because I never want anyone to wish me bad. Like I never want anyone to see me go through anything or anything bad to happen to me. And and a lot of people don't understand that. Like I believe what you put out in the world, you will get back. Like wholeheartedly, you will get back. And if I put out bad, I'm gonna get bad back. And I've had enough bad. And I don't even think I was putting out that much bad or bad any, but whatever. I know I've had enough. And that's not to say that if you just live your life doing good things, that you're always going to have good things happen to you. No. The Bible lets you know that real quick. And people fail to realize that. But I'm just putting Vaseline on my lips because it felt chapped, even though I'm not doing a look of lipstick or anything. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use the um, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. Uh, I really need to off subject I know I'm like all over the place but this is literally how some of my conversations go so we're just talking like we're friends but I really need to go makeup shopping because I have not bought makeup in so long so long so much to, to the fact that I used to have like backups and backups of foundation for me I literally have maybe two foundations left and this one right here that I'm using now is about to be empty and yeah I've never had that happen to me before but I just haven't been caring about going to buy makeup or anything like that like I've just been you know not really worried about it but yeah I am happy in every sense of the word like I, of course you have bad days but I try not to have those bad moments no bad days and yeah that's pretty much where I've been like I've thought about saying you know what I want to quit YouTube and then it was just like why like this is something that I for real enjoy and then it's like I get every time I think I want to quit it's like I get a message like randomly from a young lady she was just like I really wish that you would post more makeup videos because we really need more representation of darker skinned women in the beauty community and I was just like but you have a few like you have uh, black women in general like she mentioned black women and then she, of course she said darker skinned women as well and so I started naming some and she was just like I can only think of two that are like really in the forefront and she was just like Jackie Ina and makeup Shayla those are the only two that you really see and I was just like well I know I can't that I'm gonna ever get to where they are but I can post more videos and so she was just like, yeah, like it was, it was really nice. Like we had a nice conversation. I have a lot of conversations with people on like on Snapchat and stuff because I always tell people this all the time. Like I'm a regular person. I'm not a person that's like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm going to close my snaps because I don't want people to be able to message me and stuff like that. Like, no, I enjoy talking to people like Oh, that concealer that I was just using is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Concealer is probably the only thing that I bought, like, makeup-wise. And the Born This Way Concealer, I love both of these. Like, together, alone, I like them both. Like, they are really good concealers. Like, at first I was like, eh, is it worth the hype? But they are definitely really bomb concealers. So, I would definitely try them out if you haven't. Do you guys hear my neighbors? Like, I have the worst neighbors ever. 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 Ever, 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 ever. If you're watching on Snapchat, once again, <laughs> you guys know. I just honestly don't think they meant to be together. If you ask me, like, they argue all day. But who am I? I'm not a love person, but that's all they do. 
what's so weird is i'm starting to get oily like i've never gotten oily before but in my t-zone like i'm really starting to get oily and that never ever 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 happens to me but it's starting to happen now but yeah so i'm just really taking the rest of the summer and i've said that like once august gets here i'm really gonna start back just you know grinding like i'm going to play time is over like i've had this entire summer to just do what i want and just be free and just focus on me and not have to worry about anything like absolutely nothing like nothing has worried me this summer nothing no money no man no nothing no nobody i want to keep it that way so yeah that's pretty much it on what's been going on how do you guys feel about the whole R. Kelly situation? Like, I'm seeing a lot of, like, mixed views. And honestly, like, when people say, oh, um, they're grown. They can't be held against their will. Now, that I don't necessarily agree with because... It's like a person that's in an abusive relationship. In their mind, they think that they're supposed to be there. They're, that's the person that cares for them. That's the only person in the world that will ever be there for them. So I can definitely agree that a grown person can be brainwashed and just held against their will. And people are acting like that's so uncommon. But I don't know. If everything that is going on is true, I hope that the young lady does get like help and stuff if she's ever free. Or all the young ladies, I should say, because it is more than one. So I have no idea where my freaking um black radius contour palette is like honestly don't know yeah i just really hope that they get help if the situation is like that and honestly like who's really trusting they they kids were kelly though just 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 being honest just being honest what else is in the news um, oh my god, do you guys watch Queen Sugar? Like, I am obsessed. I just finished Prison Break. Name some stuff down below that you like to watch. I legit only watch, I don't watch TV. TV, like my actual TV, I hate turning the TV on. Like, I don't know why, but the older I get, the less I hate, the less I like TV. Like, I don't know if it's a, a older people thing or what, but... So right now I'm going to take the Makeup Shayla and Tarte Contour Kit. I haven't used this in so long, but and I think this is why, because it's like super dark. That's okay, because I'm going to take my cover girl queen bronzer and kind of soften it up but yeah um i just finished watching prison break prison break was really good i actually watched the very last season that they just came out with and one i could still feel aged kind of terribly <laughs> but um 
what else was I about to say? I didn't like the ending. I did not like the last episode of Prison Break. I thought that they could have done so much more. My favorite character on the show is Sucre. I love him. Like, he is... Friend goals, if you ever say you want to have a friend goal. Um, I'm not only want to hate that, like, everything is goals. But, yeah. I love it was so many times that man could have just left and been like, you know what? I need to go and be with my wife and my daughter. But he stayed around. He definitely stayed. Um, the other day I was on Instagram Live and I did a tutorial. And what's crazy is Jaclyn Hill had posted this on her snap and I wanted to try it. And I was just like, eh, when it comes to mascaras, like, I've been looking for a really good one for my bottom lashes. Just because I feel like God gave me big eyes, but he did not bless me with the lash in the lash department. Like, I feel like if you have big eyes, you need the lashes to go with it, you know? But someone else, when I was on Instagram Live, they mentioned the Voluminous Lash uh, Paradise, which is kind of like the better than sex dupe. And I love this. I've never tried the better than sex uh, mascara, but I just can't see myself paying $32 for a mascara. And I'm pretty open to buy a lot of things when it comes to makeup, but spending that on mascara is just like, nah. Especially when I know I wear falsies a lot, and I know that... See, I don't know what's going on, but like around my mouth, my makeup has been cracking a lot. And like around my nose. I don't know if it's the Maybelline or what. Like if it's the primer, I don't know. But I've been using the same primer. I just need to go back and get my Makeup Forever foundation. It just never steals me, steers me wrong. That is the... Best foundation ever. For me at least. Now this is a really good mascara though. I feel like with this mascara though. I need. A eyelash curler. But it's a really good one. And I feel like, especially if you have really nice lashes, really long lashes, I would definitely try this out. But, let me take something and I need to, I'm going to set around my mouth area. Just to, you know, fix that. But yeah, um, I don't, I didn't like the ending of Prison Break. Like, I felt like they could have done so much more with it. And I felt like the, the last episode was just like super rushed. And I don't know. Maybe they could have made it into a movie like they did the last episode of season four. I don't know, but there's a piece of hair on me somewhere. I just didn't like it. It just didn't do anything for me. So that kind of pissed me off. But what else? I Like I was saying, like I need something else to watch. I watch Queen Sugar. That's the only time my TV comes on. Ralph Angel, though, like he's so freaking handsome. Very handsome. Very handsome young man. I thought he was much older than what he was. I thought he was like 26, 27, but he's like 23. I definitely thought that he was like 26, 27. But how do you guys, if you do watch it, how do you guys feel about Micah? Like, he's starting to irritate me with the whole I went to jail thing and I understand he wasn't used to that, but yeah, bro. It's been like three episodes. All right.
either go see somebody about it or leave it alone because I'm with Ralph Angel. You were in there all of, you were in jail for all of like three hours. <laughs> so yeah. And this is coming from someone that's never been to jail. So I don't know. Maybe it was life changing. I don't know. I think it was just, I think it was like that for him because he kind of lived in like with blinders on. So he kind of thought like he would never have to go through anything like that. So yeah. What else? I, but like I, like I was saying, like I will legit rewatch the same things, which is Gossip Girl, One Tree Hill, A Different World. I'm so mad they try, I tried to rewatch re A Different World and I'm so mad they took it off Hulu because of the whole Bill Cosby thing. I don't support anything that he may or may not have done, but I like that show, okay? It's a very good show. Just saying. Just saying. Separate Bill Cosby from, um, separate Bill and Will. Just saying. So, they need to bring it back. But I will legit rewatch the same shows over and over and over. All the time. So, I'm trying to find different things to watch. And that was one of the new, the new things that I watched was Prison Break. So yeah, a lot of people keep saying Shameless and stuff. I don't know, it's just never, Shameless just never got me like oh man I want to watch that I'm watching American Horror Story I'm on the second season but it kind of made me mad because I was still hoping that it was like going to be stories from the first season so that kind of pissed me off but yeah It's a fly in here. Like my back door doesn't have a screen and I left my back door open to go get my laundry from the basement. Not a good idea. Wasn't a good idea at all. Not at all. And I hate flies. I hate them with a the passion. Like why is this not open at all? Going in with blush, and my two favorite blushes are Swiss Chocolate by MAC and Raisin, which I definitely probably don't have to show you guys because you guys probably already know that Raisin is a favorite of mine. Do you guys see it? Like, it's going to bother me to know the end. Hey, I have to let that one dry a little bit more. But I'm going to work on my lower lashes now. And I'm going to do the makeup shaver trick where she places the dots underneath first. That really does help. To make it look like your lashes are longer and fuller. It definitely, definitely helps.
See how that just made them look even bigger. The lashes that I'm wearing are like prince. So the lashes that I'm wearing are like platinum princess, princess platinum, something by Vegas Nay. They're in a gray package. So for my blush, I have been really, really loving this black radiance. Uh, artesian color big bronzer in flawless looks like this so I found my palette I had to remember once I was applying my highlight that I had it in my bathroom. Don't worry, I know it looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it out. And I need a little bit more blush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my wig and I'll be back to show you the look. Hi guys. Okay, so yeah, I am back. This is the completed look. I just put my hair on for my lips. Um, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. So I use NARS and strip and strip tease the lip gloss and I use MAC chestnut, which I need another one. I keep telling y'all all these signs. Keep telling me I need to go makeup shopping because... This is a nub, and I remember when I didn't even like that lip liner, but I remember when I didn't even like that lip liner, but now I legit cannot go without using that liner. So I definitely have to go get another one, and I'll probably pick up two at a time. Um, if you guys know any dupes, let me know down below, just because it's like $20 for a liner, which isn't bad because I really like it, but if I can find one that's just as good, but for a cheaper price, and I could probably get like three or four for twenty. I'm not sure. Let me know if NYX has a dupe for Max Chestnut. If not, I'll just have to dish out the twenty dollars or forty dollars because I probably get two. And yeah, I'm gonna be spending at least like three, four hundred dollars for some makeup because I don't have anything. Like I need more Laura Mercier powder. I have some left, but it's almost running out. I need some more foundation. That's like fifty dollars a pop. Like, how? This is why you don't let your makeup run out. Don't do it. Learn from my mistakes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Get ready with me. I'll leave all of the products that I use listed down below. Um, if you want to know, my earrings are from Forever Twenty One. Choker is from Forever Twenty One. Necklace. It was my aunt's, so yeah, I'm not sure. Um, the necklace is real gold. These are fake gold, so yeah. But I'm pretty sure you can still find both of these because I didn't get these from, I didn't get either of the, uh, I didn't get either of these uh, too long ago. So I got them within a month, two months, and Forever 21 pretty much does a good job at uh, keeping their jewelry around clothes. Yeah, but the jewelry definitely. So yeah, I would definitely check them out um, if you're wondering because I get a lot of questions on like my Snapchat and stuff, where I get my jewelry from and all that other jazz. I also get a lot of questions about my bracelet, which I thought was kind of like self-explanatory, but it's a Pandora bracelet, so yeah, came from Pandora. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Let me know if you like Chit Chat Get Ready With Me's. I'll do more of them. I'll probably do another one. I'll, I'll probably try to do one a week if possible. So yeah, let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and...